Well, now another story you only see here on NBC 10. It's been a little while, but Sammy Southern Stops is finally here this week. Sammy takes a tour of one of the Twin Cities, getting to know, learn, and try a few things in West Monroe. I know it's been a while since I've done my last Sammy Southern Stops, but here now we are finally back, and I'm staying a little bit closer to home to where I live and taking a little bit of a tour here of West Monroe. Here with me, I will have C.J. Beck, captain of the West Monroe Police Department, to show me around and tell me a little bit about West Monroe. Well, C.J., hey. well, uh, thank you for coming and uh, telling me a little bit about West Monroe. I know I've been here for a little bit now, but I just haven't been able to explore everything. Right. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the history of West Monroe? Yeah, so, so West Monroe is its own city. Uh, we're separate from Monroe, and Monroe has North Monroe, South Monroe, East Monroe, but it's all part of Monroe. But we're West Monroe. Uh, we're, we're separate from Monroe, and we, we, uh, we're, our history is it used to be two cities. It was Trenton and Clayton. And at one point, they were trying to bring them together and name it Cottonport, but there was that city was already taken. So they, they just they stuck with West Monroe, and I think it's here to stay. Can we just talk a little bit about you know some of the city limits? I know there's some weird city limits here in West Monroe. There's some spots right. where you know they're just ghosts of the parish, but just tell me about some of these city limits you have here. All right, so West Monroe is eight and a half square miles. Uh, we have uh, about four, almost five miles of the interstate. And uh, it gets confusing sometimes down here in the south where, you know, I'm from Baltimore, you're from Colorado, and they have counties. So when I grew up, it was Baltimore City versus Baltimore County. Well, here, West Monroe is not West Monroe Parish versus West Monroe City or County. It's just West Monroe. I know there's, there's a lot of things that happen here in West Monroe. There's a lot of things that are centered around here that you can do around here. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the things you can do around here? Yeah. But in this, in West Monroe, you have the sports complex, which is a big deal, bringing in um, all kinds of, of different tournaments and things that related to indoor activities like basketball and volleyball. Um, and also we have like the horse pavilion. So we bring in rodeos and state championships. That's pretty neat to our area. Uh, we have Duck Dynasty, although it's, they're out in the parish, we we'll still claim them because you know, people yeah. like to come through and ask us, hey, how do we get to Duck Dynasty? Uh, the, all the restaurants here, we have some really great staple restaurants that are unique to this area. For a while already, like I said, and I've been to Restoration Park, um, but I actually haven't been to Caroli Park. Caroli Park's in National Magazines. It's a it's a beautiful park. I used to, I got the chance to live there for a little while. It's very peaceful and calming, but also our Smiles Park, which is, it's acceptable to challenge kids that have challenges, but also it's, it's for, it integrates uh, kids that don't have those issues and puts them all together. So it's really neat. A lot of walking trails in the last few years, some of our officers were a part of the bicycle trail that's out there. After the ride along through the city, I went to a local coffee shop called Corner Coffee Plus Provisions, got a quick coffee to try, and then headed to Caroli Park to see what the park offers and take a nice walk through. Well, that's it for this episode of Sammy Southern Stops. If you have any suggestions on where I should go, what I should try, and what I should do, you can always message me and give me some suggestions. Reporting in Western Row for Yarkimus News Source, I'm Sammy Petraco.